can you tell me, it was so poetic, can you literally give me a three sentence step through, even if it's like walking in a metaphor or some way that some sort of map of what you presented, this beautiful poem, is that terrible to ask? No, it's fine. No, the thing about maps, of course, is that they always try to document what's there. And what I'm interested in right now is what happens when things are gone. How do you speak to things that are not there? How do you speak to things that are missing? It's not that their presence isn't felt. It's just that it is often invisible. So I think to speak about those things, you need to use other things than conventional maps. What kind of maps? Things that have to do with how images appear in the world and how we can read them and how we can sometimes not read them and they become mute and therefore opening them up through, I think, often text or narrative signs of other things that may lie behind them. Like, how do you talk to ghosts? How do you talk to ghosts? I think that sometimes societies are haunted by things, by events, by people, by traumas, and we still need to talk to them, otherwise they will continue haunting us. Just talk to them or get rid of them? Well, I'm trying, I mean, this particular Alexandria thing is about people who have left a city a very long time ago and talk about it as if it was gone. The city is not gone. Mm. But there is something missing in the world for them, which makes them speak about the city as if it had been totally destroyed. Mm. So you were exam you were taking us through that process of coming to a point where you yeah. thought of it as gone. Well, no, to the point where you try and hold on to the few scraps and fragments that you may have in order to trace things back, but also hold on to memory. And then, in my case, also trying to understand what's behind this disappearance. Mm. What is it? You know, one of the things that, for example, did not get talked about is the cotton industry, which is completely related to how those people, why they left, how they were there. Why did they leave? Because of cotton? Because the industry was nationalized and there was a revolution. I see. So from one day to the next, they became poor. Mm. It's, it's completely relates to, you know, the wider histories of colonialism. Mm. It's just that those stories don't get talked about. So then... So behind the disappearance of a city, there is actually the disappearance of an industry and, and its wealth. And its recreation elsewhere? Not necessarily, no. Mm. 